Yes, there is a new king with true wireless buds. And yes again, it's from Sony. Now, before you fight me and think there's so many others out there, let's find out in the video. So for the past year, the Sony WF-1000 Mark III's have been my go-to favorite pair of true wireless buds. In terms of audio quality, it's been impeccable. It's also got some really great noise cancellation. And where it falters is the fact that, of course, it's got a bulky case and it doesn't have that great of a microphone. So here comes the SP800N. Now, Sony, please, let's change the naming structure of your, uh, your products can get a little confusing. But the SP800N comes in, bringing in a lot of features that you will find familiar, but also taking things to a very different level. Now they're priced at $199, and what you have here is something, of course, that comes in quite a rather large case. That's the first thing you would notice. Sony tends to make larger cases for their uh, true wireless buds, and that's just the way it is. The case has USB Type-C charging, which will give you uh, 60 minutes with a 10 minute charge. And in terms of battery life, you're getting an extra nine hours uh, if, of course, you're having noise cancellation or an extra 13. So you can get nine with the earbuds themselves, nine in the case, or of course, it will increase with that as well. And we'll talk about the battery life in a second. Now, taking a closer look at the earbuds themselves, they are on the larger side. Now, if you compare them to the Pixel Buds or the Galaxy Buds uh, Plus, they are larger than both of them, you know, as you can clearly see. But what they do have is some really interesting features and functionality, and also we get to the audio as well. So you take them out and you put them in your ears. The first thing you notice is that they fit really well. They've got a really nice fit because you've got customizable tips you can use, but you also have a wing, and that little wing clips on so that when you shake, you dance, you move, you walk around, you run, boom, they fit quite well. The other thing, of course, talking about running is that these are sweat and water resistant, so which means if you're going for a run, like be running outside here, these will not fall out of your ears at all because they're built for that. And that's also a huge step from the WF-1000 Mark III from last year. And I'm glad to see that with these, of course. Now, in terms of controls, you've got touch controls on each ear cup and they are customizable within the app, which we'll talk about, but they're very simple controls. On your right ear cup, one tap to pause and play, double tap to skip forward, triple tap to skip back, press and hold basically allows you to access your voice assistant. Now on the, on the left earbud, you've got a tap, which basically cycles you through noise cancellation, ambient mode on, off, and that's pretty much it. Now you can switch those functionalities. Plus, of course, people who love to use just a single earbud, you can do that too and have the functionality. Uh, although if you're gonna use the left one, you have to change the controls within the application itself. So speaking of the other feature, noise cancellation. This is something the WF-1000 Mark III did really well, and a lot of people like it in a lot of true wireless buds. We've seen them with the Apple AirPods Pro, but I think the WF-1000 Mark III's had probably the best active noise cancellation, and it continues right here. I will say not as, um, not as uh, intense as the WF-1000, but the sp 800 ends do have some really solid noise cancellation. The ambient mode works out really well. Now within the application, you can go in there and you can customize the noise cancellation, but you do have the ability to use something pretty cool called adaptive sound control, which basically judges your location and maps it out so you can change between if you're staying at home, if you're walking, if you're running, or if you're in commuter trans transportation, changing your noise canceling levels and also the ambient sound for you. And that's an easy way to use it. The app itself is quite rich and basically one of the best apps I've seen for um, uh, true wireless power pair of earbuds. You've got the sound option to can help you customize your ambient sound. The equalizer gives you a huge range. And I'll tell, talk about that more with the audio. You've got 360 audio as well, the setup process, and you've got a sound quality mode. Then you have the system, shows you how to customize, of course, the controls in each ear, earbud. And um, you also have the ability to do a few other settings as well. Now, when it comes to audio, which is one of the biggest things you care about, 
These are great. They sound really, really good. I mean, the soundstage is really nice. It's a large soundstage, but not too big, so it doesn't feel like it's floating around. Uh, these instrument separations are really clean. I mean, very, very clean. Now, when it compares to audio with the WF-1000 Mark III's, I think they're about the same. This is where the benefit of not having the noise canceling levels as the WF come to play. So you get a cleaner separation between, especially when you have ANC on, between the instruments. So you can hear those uh, syllables really well. You can hear the separations from your mids, highs, and lows. Everything feels really spread out within that you know, sound stage and makes it so clear, so clean. The highs are so good. Oh my God, they are good. They are really good. Uh, and check this out, it also has a little extra bass as well. Yes, these have some extra bass, so all you bass fans, you get that tucked in there, you get that. So if you really want just a little more oomph in your sound, it delivers. I mean, this thing absolutely delivers. It is fantastic. So couple that, I think it's an excellent audio replication, especially what you're trying to listen to. It depends on what song you're listening to, whether it's hip hop, jazz, if you listen to instrumentals, if you listen to uh, orchestral music, if you listen to movie soundtracks, you know, uh, from Hans Zimmer like I do, uh, you know, anime songs, doesn't matter, it, it works. House, beat, techno, you name it. Now, the other thing we care about, of course, is the microphone. Now, with a lot of people using True Wireless Buds and the fact that we are you know, stuck at home uh, and we have to make a lot of phone calls, the mic is really, really important. This is where the WF-1000 Mark III's didn't set the mark last year. And I have to tell you, the SB800Ns do a fantastic job. Really great microphones, conversations were clear and clean. People didn't realize I was on uh, True Wireless Buds. They just enjoyed the conversation. I liked the fact that it was clean and robust. I think this is where Sony really did a huge improvement and took things a step forward for people to use. Now, in terms of battery life, you're looking at nine hours noise canceling is what Sony says, and it is pretty much nine hours. Nine hours straight with the earbuds and you've got an extra nine hours within the case. Now, of course, you take the noise cancellation off, you get a bit more, and I'll say the battery life is really solid you get what you're paying for, and it comes out well. I think the overall nature of these earbuds are just really nice. They're things that I think it does really well, and things I think a lot of consumers will really appreciate because the audio is pretty much top notch. Noise casting is up there with one of the best. Maybe not as good as the WF-1000 Mark III's, but really close. Um, you've also got a great microphone that rivals the Galaxy Buds Plus, or even the AirPods Pro. Uh, so you've got a clean microphone for conversations uh, and you've got a great app that allows you to enhance your listening experience and use those active noise cancellation roles altogether. Now, it's not perfect and I know that. Uh, it's still lacking a few things. I'm a bit disappointed that with a case this large and also the price point, it doesn't have wireless charging. Now you don't necessarily need it, but with the advent of course of reverse wireless charging in many smartphones and the fact that's an easier way to just charge them within the case, it does beg to question why Sony actually left that out and I'm a bit disappointed there with that. And also, I wish the case was smaller. I get it that you know, you've got bigger size earbuds, but I wish the case was smaller because when you put it in your pocket, it bulges out quite large. And it kind of reminds me again of the WF-1000 uh, Mark III's from last year. But overall, you can't deny, and trust me, when you try them out, you will go, yes, Sony. You've made a pair of two wireless buds that sound fantastic, they sound great. And to me, with the audio quality, the noise cancellation, and the microphone, plus the battery life, this is the new king. Till of course, something else comes out, maybe the WF Mark IVs, but this is the new king of true wireless buds. And yes, at me on this. Let me know what you think. Let me know which is better, because I can tell you this is better than the Galaxy Buds Plus, the AirPods Pro, the Pixel Buds, you name it. This hits the mark. So if you have any questions, guys, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.